Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, you almost poured wow. that on my head. Hi guys, so on today's video, I'm going to talk about contouring and highlighting. Um, I actually had a whole nother video planned and I was in Ulta, I think I live in Ulta, and um, I ran into someone I knew, this beautiful fashionable girl, Emily, and she said, we watch your videos all the time. My mom does, my sister does, and I do. And she said, you know what I really want to know? How do you contour? And I'm like, Really? Because I was going to do a whole total different video today. And then another friend of mine um, from Facebook, Teresa, had asked me, can you show me how to contour also? So I'm definitely going to show you guys how to contour in this video. So let's get started. So I think one of the biggest misconceptions about contour is what's the difference between contour and bronzer? So a contour is more of a cool color. It's more of almost sometimes have a grayish undertone. And the reason that you want that in your contour is because a contour creates a shadow or a dimension. Whereas a bronzer, like the hourglass bronzer, is much warmer. And I have bronzer on now. That is not my contour. A bronzer warms up your skin. A contour will make things diminish and make like your cheekbones stand out or if you have a bigger forehead and you want to put some on the forehead to make that appear smaller or if you want to make your nose appear smaller i'm going to show you how to contour and highlight today is um with the tardis pro glow palette okay and this palette has everything you need in here which is why i chose it okay so you have four different highlights and you have two different contour shades. One's a cream and one's a contour. And you can see how like more of a gray tone that is. And then you have the four different highlights here, which is really great because it's great for different skin tones. You can mix them and you could also use maybe one under your eye and one on your cheekbone, one on your nose, wherever you want to do it. But I will say, if you do contour your face, you must highlight it because if you don't highlight after your contour, the contour is going to make you look too severe. Okay. So those are just some of the things that I wanted to mention about contouring and I hope that helps before we get started. I'm going to start on the cheekbone and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you could contour your skin with a cream or a powder. Normally I like to just contour with a powder. But um, if I'm going to somewhere fancy like a wedding or something like that, or I know I'm going to be at an event and I'm going to stay out all day, I will put the cream on and then the powder. That will ensure that that does not move all day. So when you use, let me show you right here, the cream highlighter, okay? It's on a pointy brush like this. You're gonna start from almost the top of your ear. You're going to feel underneath your cheekbone where that hollow is, and you're gonna draw a straight line. You don't wanna come all the way to here because you don't wanna make a shadow into your lip and look like, what's that, the Joker from uh, Batman and Robin <laughs> and all those things. So let me show you what to do. So you're going to take right from the top of your ear and you're going to draw a line. Okay, and then this is a great brush too that you could use with a powder, but it's also a great blush blend. Um, when you blend your contour line, you want to blend upwards because what we're trying to do is create a shadow. So if you blend down, you're gonna look really, really dark up here. We wanna give the illusion of a very high cheekbone. So we're going to take the brush and we're just going to blend upward. And this palette, I have to say guys, is such a good palette because the product really, really, really blends out nicely. I've used some I've used some other palettes where I put it on and if I didn't blend it in a second, it was like stuck there. So let's see. That's how you do the cheekbone. Now I'm gonna do the cheekbones first because I want to show you um, 
if you feel like you got a little too much darkness on your underneath your cheek what to do so let me just show you let's just deal with the cheekbones right now so then you're going to take the powder sculptor uh, powder color sculpt and you are going to put that right on top of where we put the cream you need to set that cream and again blend up and it also softens it And again, the goal is to make you look like you have a shadow under here. We don't want to make you look like you have a stripe. Okay. So then what you do is if you want to make it look like you have a very, very, very sharp line here, you take a beauty blender. Uh, this actually is actually a real techniques sponge. I love it. It's nice and bouncy. And you take your powder. So I'm just taking my powder and I dip the beauty blender in it and the beauty blender is damp, okay? And then to really sharpen that line, you take the powder and you go right underneath the line, okay? Now, while I'm showing you how to do everything else, let's leave the line right there. Let's leave the powder right there underneath the line. Hi guys, I just wanted to pop in here for a moment. Off camera, my contour is all blent in. I know on camera it looks like I do have some contour lines left, so my advice is just blend, blend, blend. Sometimes it's a little hard to see in this small mirror, so. Okay, so the next, now with also contouring, guys, you have to figure out where you wanna contour. If you feel like you have a larger um, forehead, then bring the contour down a little more. A smaller contour, a smaller forehead, you won't need it. Need it. If you feel like you have a longer nose and you want to shorten it, then of course you're going to put contour here. When you put contour on the sides of your nose, where you put the lines, the closer you put the closer you put the lines to your nose, the thinner your nose will appear. So, that being said, I really don't have a large forehead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put a little bit on my forehead just to give some dimension. And also, even if you don't do this, um, a good trick also is sometimes when I get my hair colored, um, you know when you first get your hair colored and there's like no dimension and it just looks like really, really blonde there. Um, I, I definitely want to highlight, uh, contour my hairline just to give it that dimension. And that just blend out so easily and so nicely. We've already done underneath our, um, our cheek. So now, again, you have to choose where you want to put that contour. So for me, I have some jowls and I want to make my jawline look stronger. So I'm going to take the contour and I'm going to go underneath and I'm definitely going to get where I feel my problem part is because what the contour does is it creates a shadow and makes that recede. Another good trick is you take, even if you put bronzer on your neck and your shoulders, which I have it there, you take the contour and you go right down your neck, the, the middle underneath your chin, which will make that area seem to recede also. Just make sure everything is blent in really nicely. And like I said, this Tarte palette is amazing and I highly recommend this palette for contour. Okay, and then what we wanna do is we want to now set it with the powder. If you're more of a drier skin and you wanna just leave it like creamy like that, you can, but for me, I would just be, end up being an oily mess and I just really like it when you set the powder. So, set it with powder. So, we're gonna just go over those spots
where we put the contour. My hair keeps getting in the way. Okay, so remember I said we're just gonna leave that powder. So now we're just gonna take a little puff of and put it some powder on it. And we're just going to kind of just go right under that line and brush everything away and like brush it on your jawline where you put everything so it kind of blends everything in it also. Okay. So now we're gonna do the nose. So for me, I feel like my nose is a little longer and I feel like the bottom here is a little wider but the top is thinner. Now, um, I'm going to take a little of the cream and just put it underneath my nose. And what that'll do is that will make my nose appear shorter. So if you wanna shorten your nose and make sure it's really blunt out, the other day my daughter called me out and she's like mom what are those two lines there and that was not the look I was going for so I typically do not use cream on the sides of my nose my nose is a little more oily and I feel like when I put the cream there it just looks really bad at the end of the day so this is um, hula bronzer and this bronzer can be used as bronzer but you can see it's a little more cool and it is a matte color so that is typically what i use on the sides of my nose and i just sculpt down where i feel that my nose is a little wider and then lightly i just come up and i go over the bottom with the powder now, the trick is that you really don't want lines on the side of your nose, and it does create a shadow there. So what I do is to not have a shadow looking on the side of my nose. I mean, I wanna make my nose look thinner. I don't wanna look like I have two lines on the side of my nose, which apparently I did the other day. So you take your concealer and you run it right up on the sides where you put your contour. You see there how it's making that look like so much thinner right there? And then we just blend that out. And I typically sometimes go right over where I did put that contour, just so I make sure that I don't have any darker looking lines. And then I will set it with a powder. Okay, now we're gonna get to highlights. So I take my IT Fan brush and what I do is I'm gonna use Lit on my cheekbones because it has peach in it and I really like that. And you just go on the top of the cheekbone and you can blend it out over here. And it uh, Tarte makes one of the best highlighters. Their, their um, consistency is amazing and it really doesn't pick up texture or any wrinkles on the skin. So that is Lit right there, which is a little peachy. Well, now I wanna go underneath my eye and set that. So I'm going to use strobe there, which is a little lighter. And then I'll put it in the corner of my eyes and blend that out. Okay. And then we have the color stunner and I'm going to take stunner and I will put it a little bit on my nose. I just like to put it a little bit on my nose, like right above the ball of my nose, because I don't want to make my nose look that long so the highlight will keep you looking up here and you could take a little bit on your cupid's bow and a little on your chin right where the light would hit you and I'm going to use a little more of the fit right here and right here so Guys, I think I said everything. That's it for the contour video. Um, I think it's really important, and I just also did find out that um, Kim Kardashian is launching a makeup line, and her first product is going to be a contour video. I think it's um, launching June 17th, so if I could get my hands on it, I will, and I will tell you how I like that. Um, 
So, and she always looks gorgeous, so hey, I'll give it a try. Um, and I also would like to um, thank you guys so much for reaching out to me and supporting me. Um, some of the people I don't even know, Jacqueline and Julie, um, thank you so much for supporting me. And follow me on Instagram at Honestly Arlene, and we are in the midst of creating a new Facebook page called Honestly Arlene, um, where you can follow me too. So thank you guys so much. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.